so hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new video and in this video i will be solving problem c that is even sub arrays from round 841 and in general this was not a very hard problem but the time constraints were pretty hard on this one so let's move on to the solution and see how we can solve this but before we move on to the solution, I want to tell you guys about Newton School's coding contest. As you guys know, Newton Schools does this coding contest every month. And this month, the name of the contest is Code Rush X. And the prizes are better than ever before. So you can win prizes up to rupees 10 lakhs. And along with this, you can win placement opportunities in top product companies. So like if you guys want to play this for fun or you guys want to play this for placements, that is totally up to you. Uh, the contest will be on 28th of January. Uh, it will start around 9 p.m. and the contest will be three hours long. So there will be ample amount of time for you guys to brainstorm and solve good quality problems. So if you guys want to benchmark yourself or just win some placements, this is a very good opportunity. I will leave a link to this contest in the comments and in the description so you guys can go and sign up from there and show or you can flex how good you are at problem solving. So now let's move on to the solution. So in the problem, we have been given an array of size n where n can be up to 10 to the power 5. So something like a1, a2, a3, so on up to a n. And we have been asked to find the number of subarrays, right? Find the number of subarrays such that ZOR of subarray, right? ZOR of the given subarray must have even number of devices. Right. For example, if we have a subarray from AL, let's say up to AR, then the ZOR of all the elements in this subarray is let's say equal to some value X, then this X should have even number of divisors. So that is the problem given some array A, find the number of subarrays which have even number of divisors. So how can we find this? So let's move on to the solution and the observations. I think the one and only observation that we need to solve this problem is that observation number one, that only perfect square, only perfect square has odd number of divisors, right? Because if we look at perfect squares, uh, let's say we look at one, then one has only one divisor, that is one. If we look at four, four has divisors one, two and four, right? This is odd, this is odd as well. And if we look at nine, it has one, three, and 9 right it also has odd number of devices similarly if we look at 16 16 has 1 2 4 8 and 16 right it also has odd number of devices so you can see that all the perfect squares all the perfect square have odd number of devices that is the very first observation and the second observation that we need is observation 2 that is there are only square root of n perfect squares from 1 to n right because we only have 1 2 3 4 so on up to square root of n and we have square root of n plus 1 right Square of this will be 1, square of this will be 4, square of this will be 9, square of this will be around n. And when we square this, this will be greater than n, right? So we only have square root of n perfect squares lying from 1 to n. So now we know that our perfect square only has odd number of devices, right? The perfect square are the only numbers who have odd number of devices. All the other numbers will have even number of devices. And the second observation is that there are only square root of n such numbers from 1 to n. So now instead of solving this problem for like counting even number of like devices, we can reverse the problem. So we can say that my answer will be, I can say that 
my answer will be total number of subarrays minus subarrays with odd divisors subarrays with odd divisors and as we saw previously only perfect square have odd divisors so we can uh, so we can rephrase this we can say that my answer is equal to total number of subarrays and total number of subarrays as we know are always n into n plus 1 by 2 right so n into n plus 1 by 2 minus subarrays with odd divisors that is subarrays with perfect scares or right now that is the problem so now my answer is just total number of subarrays that is n into n plus 1 by 2 minus subarrays with perfect scares or and this is a very well known problem how to like uh, count how to count number of subarrays with a given value right so this is a standard problem the standard problem is counting subarrays counting subarrays with a given or k right this is a very well known, well known problem right and this can be solved in O of n so we want to do this for every perfect square and as we saw in second observation there are only square root of n such numbers right so for every perfect square we will run this algorithm right for every perfect square we will count number of subarrays that have that perfect square as its zor so we have square root of n perfect squares and for every perfect square it will take us o of n time to find the number of subarrays with that perfect square so in total it will take me o of n into square root n time and my n here is around 10 the power 5 so my n square root n will be around 10 the power 7 so this will take around 10 the power 7 iterations and this should pass under the time limit but the time limits on this problem were pretty strict and the time limit on this was pretty strict like so you had to do a very neat and strict implementation so like in these kind of problem where time limit is strict uh, don't write recursive code right try to write as much iterative code as you can and do not use long longs if not required right try to use integers as much as much as you can secondly uh, don't use maps try to use arrays instead of maps right because arrays are obviously faster so like these are the kind of tips that you get you guys need to remember like when you are solving a problem that has a strict time limit right so try to write iterative code try to use integers and try to use arrays over like uh, maps or hash maps so now let's move on to the pseudocode how we can solve this right so you know size of the array n so first generate all the perfect squares generate all the perfect squares up to 2n now why are we generating all the perfect scales up to 2n because your zor can be more than n also right for example let's say your n is equal to 8 so we have 1 0 0 0 now there can be some element let's say with value 3 right so like if we zor these two numbers we get 1 0 1 1 and as you can see your zor here is greater than 8 so like your zor can exceed n so like we, we can take 2n as the upper limit because like 2n is this bit shifted right so 2n will be here 16 and you like your zor of 4 bits will never exceed 16 so 2n is a very safe limit so you can generate all the perfect squares up to 2n right so we have 0 1 4 9 so on up to right uh, right up to the value where like number of squares are less than 2n right so keep generating them then for every value right for every value find the number of subarrays right find the number of subarrays with this zor and like subtract this from your answer right after finding it subtract it from your answer and initially your answer will be uh, initially your answer will be n into n plus 1 by 2 
right? So that will be the entire code for this. And like I told you, uh, let me show you the code as well. So here is the code. I will take my integer n as an input. Then I will like uh, see all the perfect squares from one up to two n, right? So up to two n, I will like generate all the perfect squares. I will take my array as the input. Then I will like store all the squares from zero up to two n. This is zero, one, four, right? So on. Initially, my answer will be n into n plus one by two. Then this is my hash map that I will use to like find sub arrays with some or. So this is a very well-known algorithm, right? Uh, like you, you guys can see this on Geeks for Geeks. I will leave a link to it in the comments, right? So I will iterate over all the elements. Then for all the like uh, scares that I'm looking for, I will check, uh, I will subtract from the answer that uh, current sum is or that M value, right? Uh, I'm not going to explain this logic. I hope you guys are like, I hope you guys know how to find uh, sub arrays with a given or, right? So this is that entire algorithm. I am using a vector here instead of map because map might TLE here and my AI values are up to n, right? So I'm initializing my hash map to 4 the power n, uh, sorry, sorry, 4 into n, like uh, to keep a safe distance. So that is the entire algorithm. This will find all the sub arrays with some given values and that are the perfect scales in this case. And then I can just print out the answer, right? So that will be the entire code. And if you guys have some doubts, feel free to ask in the comments. I will be uh, like happy to answer them or join my Discord server. Uh, and that will be it for this video. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.